Welcome to Something for Everyone. Here on our channel, we are going to do so many projects. We want to welcome everyone to this channel. Hopefully you find something that you like on here. Go ahead and subscribe and like if you like the content. Give it a thumbs up if you definitely like it. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and tell us what you like about it or you dislike about it. We want to make sure everybody is welcomed here. And always enjoy our projects. Our project today is something special always for you. Check it out. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. 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 Okay, so if you haven't figured it out, we are going to be doing some sewing. Yeah, I absolutely love doing sewing. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. Oh, by the way, we're doing the sanitary napkins. We're going to be cutting out some cores today. How to cut out the core of your sanitary napkin. The way I do it, but of course you have your own way. You can do it your own way. As always, stay creative. Now to be able to see everything I do, which is pretty, pretty great. Let's get started. Cutting out a core is very easy to do. Now, why do I say it's easy to cut out a core? Um, was it easy at first? All right, so let's just be honest. But you can take some scraps. So we're gonna sit this over to the side, sit that over to the side. Look, if you have some scraps, pieces of material, that is what you wanna use. So you take your scraps and we're gonna fold this over since that's a straight edge. See how many we can get out of here. And then I'm gonna just take, I mean, because I've cut some of these out already, eventually this is how it's gonna look. That's your core. Step one, planning. Here are the materials that you're going to need. Number one, scrap material. Number two, scissors. Number three, clean cutting surface. Four is the pattern of some sort. And five, please have patience with yourself. Okay, so what we need is to find out how many of these we can get out of here without Okay, it looks like I'm going to be able to fold that over again, which is going to give us some more. And I have to come down some on the inside here because at this top piece here, which I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll so right here, there's this little piece that isn't directly straight. So. Um, and you're gonna have these pieces in here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pull this over some. And the reason I'm doing that is so I cover, cause we're gonna have to bring this down a bit and I wanna make sure I cover the whole path here. So if I do this right and I fold it back again now, I should be able to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be able to get the whole entire thing cut without any issues. And I cut this, well, I folded it a little bit too thin, so I'm gonna bring it out a little more here. Cause we gotta get the top and the Botox cut out, which is this part here, is what I'm referring to as the Botox. Yeah, let me bring you up a little bit, sorry. So you see the whole thing. Okay, now you can see the whole thing. Yeah, at least I think so. Now oh, there we go. Okay, so that's where I'm at right now. 
And look, this don't have to be per perfect, by no means necessary. Because this is a round piece, I could just cut it round, you know, and be done with it. see is this wide enough let's see that would be wide enough if I just cut one but what I'm trying to do is get at least two out of this now if I turn it that way then that's too long um, wait maybe able to do it this way huh? see always thinking always thinking trying to always think What's the best way to use the material today? Ah, always thinking, always thinking, always thinking, trying to do my best. What's the best way to use my material to get the most out of it? Okay, so there we go. This is going to be cutting it very, very close, so I'd rather pull it in a little more. Okay, and that gives me some there. So if I take this now and, yeah, I'm kind of gonna do it this way. <laughs> well, I really need the fold over here again because I'm gonna cut it. So now that I know that fold, let me see. Give me a moment, guys. Give me a moment. I gotta mark this side so therefore I can see from the other side where the edge of this is and put it in the right place. So I'm gonna put a pin there and then I'm gonna put a pin, just give me a green one here, sit you over there. I'll put a pin right straight through here. There we go. And there we go. Hey. Okay. So now that I have these here in place, I can see this on this side. That was the important part. I needed to see exactly where it ended and give myself a little room or some space. So I know I need to start about here and fold it again. And because I'm going to be folding this, let's see, is that going to work? Is that gonna work? Oh, that's gonna make it a little short. So if I do it this way, then I'm gonna get maybe a little short one on this side. Okay, so. Ping, ping, let me put these back in their place. Cause knowing my big hands, if I don't, I will stick myself. All right, so looks like no matter which way we go i'm only probably going to get one out of this and i would like to get more than one so i may go back this way again so i can try to get more than one because this way actually worked where i can get more than one so if i fold that this way bring it up a bit up a bit up 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 Okay, pass down and fold there. I know it looks like it's gonna be cutting it kinda short here, but nope, that's gonna work. And then it give me a fold on the opposite side, of course, right? Um, and then, then that'll give me just like a topper piece here. That's not really gonna do. Okay, so I have a solid one here on this side and then there's a fold that's I'm probably going to have to sew that and because I don't want to sew that I'm going to have to huh, hold on some of these aren't going to be cut right guys All right, so we know that's not going to bang so if I do this I'm just using common sense here. I'll figure it out in a moment. So if this part of the video gets sped up with voiceover, that just means I probably took too long to figure this part out. And when I come back, uh, that means I did figure it out.
That's kind of what I'm trying to do. All right, so normally other people would just cut. They wouldn't even think about it. They wouldn't even think twice. I'm the one that's putting all this extra thought into probably something that I know may not work and I may only get one out of it. Um, but yeah, this is how I use my my little pieces here. Alright, don't stick me. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to start cutting. And we'll see what we end up with. that part is out and we already know that we need to go this way down out and around and that's why I was trying to get the other side on the folds but can't never have your cake ice cream and eat it too so I'm learning that right yep okay so we have this little piece that's left over I'm gonna see if I can cut one out of that, I'm not too sure because that looks kind of small, but I'm gonna show you what we got out of here. Just to be on the set, oh, well, you know what? Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Got a snippet, snippet. And it looks like we got two out of it, which was, is great. So here's one, that's the full one, that's the core, right? So I'm gonna take that one and set it over here, along with my other cores. In a bunch. Normally I would tie the sides of it. Not gonna worry about that today. I just really need it where I can put my little trash in it, call it a day, you know, like these little tiny scraps. Um, normally I save them, my scrap basket is filled. Um, and I have a little scrap bag over here that I can use too, for the bigger ones. Okay, so with this one, and this is what I was talking about. Um, we got the first one that came out really okay. This is a great core, right? If you notice, and I'll turn this backwards. You have the top piece to this one, but then there's like this little corner piece. Matter of fact, the piece that I was going to toss... I can actually sew it on here and cut it. See, you can always use, 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 use what you got. Use, use, use what you got. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we're gonna use what we got. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna sew that on and then as I sew that piece on, I'll finish cutting it. So there we go. We did eventually get two cores. Maybe not all in one piece like this one is, but we got two cores. All right. So I will do that later. I'm going to see, because right now this video is completely all about cutting out cores. I'm going to see that's not going to fit a core. So since that's not going to fit a core, I could do myself one better. And instead of worrying about trying to get the stragglies on there, right? Put this here. And I could pretty much finish this part completely out. All right, so I will work on that. This will eventually turn into a core. All right, I'm not gonna pin this together. I am going to sit this over to the side. Because that will eventually become a core. Now, here's something else that I kind of learned the tricks of the trade of. I went and bought a towel for like $2. They were on sale at Kmart for like $2 and something. $2.50. And I bought like, uh, what was it? 
Yeah, they was on. It was either two fifty or three fifty. Somewhere in there, I spent maybe six, seven dollars on a couple of towels. I'm using a towel to actually cut out all of the material here, um, and you'll get a chance to see what it looks like in just a second. But I did this twice in two different ways so that way you guys will be able to see it. I used the same exact um, pattern piece, nothing different here. And this just shows you how you can use different materials or fabrics, okay? So I have the towel one cut out here and there's my core. It does not need to be perfect. This is just my core. Here I'm gonna point out the different types of cores you have, which are flannel, you have the colored one, and you also have the towel or terry core that's cut out. So don't be afraid to experiment with your cores. Um, that one can go in the trash. Let's see if I can get, I probably won't be able to get a full one, but maybe a half one. Anytime this happens where I don't have another piece to get a full one, I won't cut it just yet because if I can find another piece that'll match this, then I'll cut it out and I'll sew it down the middle and then we do have another cord just sewn in the middle. All right, so before we do that one, let's see. Here I'm doing the same thing. I just went ahead and used another scrap of the towel or terry material I had. I cut out another one exactly the same and you're gonna get a chance to see exactly what it looks like right now. Cut, all right, and there we go. I remember these are gonna be hidden. They're not gonna be seen. They're gonna be, the, these are the inner cores. These are not tops. Even if they were top, if you surge the edges, all of that fraying would stop. Um, if you have a serger, or if not a serger, you can use the exact stitch on your regular machine. Here, I'm just putting the two towel pieces together that were extra, and I'm gonna cut out the same exact pattern to make another core out of the two separate pieces. Then I am going to take and mend those two pieces together and that'll stop you from having to do the extra later. Now what I'm gonna do, close that off, and then I'm gonna open this so you can really see the core. Here's some more flannel um, pieces that I have. This is just a flannel piece here. Okay, one big flannel piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my common sense. And my fold is over there, but what I'm gonna line up here is I need to get it somewhat at the top and then cut a straight line and then fold. So here I am again using the same phrase, rinse and repeat. All you have to do is recut this out. Once again, you end up with about six cores if you fold it accurately. And then after you do that, um, I'm gonna show you exactly what they look like afterwards. But don't be afraid to try different fabrics and different pieces of fabric you have left over. One, four, perfect. So I ended up with six cores out of that. That's really great. Now, so now if I wanted to make them sort of thick, these are already two layers thick right here. Um, sometimes two layers is enough, but for a heavy days, not so much. This would be really for light, light days. So if I take four of these, so let's say three right here. There we go. And then you do the fourth one. Wait, is that two? Okay, I'll leave these two together. There we go. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. So if you do three, that makes it pretty a little thicker. Not too thick, but just enough thickness 
where you get a thicker pad, but it's not gonna be too thick. All right, so you do that that way, but then when you think about it, if you're having one of those super flush days, I call them flush days, um, I have my words for things, and you need more layers than what you expected, it's not going to feel like a nappy by the time you put the topper on and you fold it over with your stuff together. But this is a thicker layer here, okay? So in this one, you have one, two, three, four, five layers. Five layers thick. And then you're going to put, sorry, um, really picky with this at times but this is five layers thick and this is why I was cutting out so many of these because see that's five layers but it took all of the the white ones except for these two over here so that's why I was cutting out so many I'm gonna cut out some more in just a second but if you want to make it five layers thick and then you have your PUL layer on the back so it doesn't go through right there's your PUL layer. And then after your PUL layer, then you'll have your covered layer that's gonna cover everything. Hold on now, hold on. Just giving you an idea of what I'm talking about here. Then you have your cover layer here. And then you can just put all that together and not worry about it and just have it just like that. But little old me, my little low ideas, I'm gonna have a top layer, okay? So really in essence, what's gonna happen, this part here is gonna get sewn to the back of here. And then after I sew this together, then I will come and put the, PU, the PUL layer on the back of here, like so, where I can sew it all down at once. Yes, I can. And then, it sounds crazy and it seems like a lot to put these together, but it's definitely worth it to last you a while. You really need to have these two together because you're gonna sew this around here, sew it around here, turn it inside out and then um, you can attach this because it was more like an exposed core if you want to say that but if you don't want to do all of this extra stuff you don't have to what you can do is you can take your core layers and put it inside of here and then you sew around the top here or sew around the edges here, all the way to here, all the way to here. Leave this out so you can twist, turny, toppy. And after you turny, toppy, you'll be great to go. You know what I mean? Just all in one. Okay, so anyways, you get the gist. Okay, so here I do the same thing. I rinse and repeat the same process over again, only with plain flannel. There are no... Um, no designs on this one. Oh man, I lost my train of thought there for a second. But I'm so glad that we got a chance to get this done. Um, so therefore, if you have any issues or problems on how to cut out your core, you notice I didn't measure anything exact. I did that on purpose so therefore others and anybody will know that you can do this even if you don't have a measuring tape or you don't measure things out exactly you just need to have your own pattern that you made I like to use uh, fabric patterns so I cut out my own patterns I make them and then I use them and they last me for quite a long time I don't have to worry about the paper ones where oh shoot I miss and cut the paper or anything like that got to resharpen my scissors because I've cut this paper this just cuts down on a lot for me personally so hopefully you enjoyed this and as always have a creative mind 
Hope you enjoyed the content that you just saw, or the project that you just watched with us. If you want to see something happen on this channel, leave it in the comment section below. Go ahead and subscribe and like. Hit the bell icon so you can get all of the notifications when we upload new content to this channel. And always remember, you are welcome here at Something for Everyone. We want to make sure we all live clean and frugal and upright. So without further ado, always enjoy and have the most creative day.